In the span of eight hours, I spent $1,000 on a Lego. Well, at least got $1,000 in Lego goods. So I'm going to take you through that and uh, do a recap of this release because my fiance is currently dress shopping and I'm living the high life ordering a crap ton of Lego. So absolutely awesome, guys. I'm pretty pumped. Uh, I had an exciting live stream last night where we did a midnight release kind of shopping video. You guys tuned in and just loved it, I feel like. So I wanted to give a huge thank you. Uh, it, it really meant a lot for you guys to be there and just kind of enjoy it, go through the shopping list. Uh, but we are so close to 10K subscribers. Let's push it, kill it. It's free. Hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and do our recap. So unfortunately, nothing too exciting about selling out uh, as nothing really sold out, at, at least at the time of recording this. Uh, the tribute to the Lego house is still available for $250. Uh, the elf, the winter elf scene is still available for $170 plus purchase. Uh, and of course, the Lego baking set, uh, which I'm kicking myself in the nads uh, for not getting is still available. I think it's really cool, but <laughs> it was definitely a meme talk of yesterday. Uh, so if you are planning on ordering guys, uh, definitely you have a day, a little over a day. So definitely check it out. Um, and hopefully this video helps aid you in some of your decision making as mine was kind of all over the board. If you don't recall, my original plan was pretty set in stone to grab the loop coaster, which is a pretty good set. You could spend 100 VIP points and uh, snag your voucher, get $80 off, essentially get it for 320. Uh, but I also grabbed the voucher for the Hogwarts Express because I wanted to be safe and I was I was a little hesitant, uh, but my order ended up consi like consisting of uh, the Hogwarts Express. So it ended up costing me, I think, $430 is what it came out on the stream, uh, which after tax, which was pretty good. Um, I, I it, It's decent, right? $430 bucks for all that. Uh, but there was also added sets. And of course, you know, I used Rakuten on uh, last night. They were running 10%, but even 2%, 2.5% uh, cash back is pretty good, right? Any discount you can get on Lego is always a good one, right? Uh, but anyways, if you guys aren't a part of Rockets, and definitely recommend you use the link in the description. Get your $40 for signing up, make your Lego purchases, and have a great day. Uh, but with that being said, we also scored the a Lego House uh, Tribute Set, which is set number 40563, a great promotional item by all means. Uh, I'm so pumped to like, this was my first purchased right like this was my first wave of getting these uh so i also got the winter elf scene uh, which was exciting so i i stacked my promos got my double vip points uh and then i i tried to i i claimed the new dragon ride the adventure dragon ride for 2400 vip points which is rather expensive but it wouldn't let me use the code and i i knew that was coming so I, it, it's kind of sucks so you can only use the one voucher code uh so i was like okay i want to make another order i was thinking about the loop coaster uh, even though the live stream chat was steering me away. Uh, but the, the voucher code, if I used the voucher code on the loop coaster, it wouldn't allow me to get the dragon. So this morning, I was pretty adamant about making another purchase. I said, what should I get? You know, I really want the Lion Knight's castle. I'm going to buy it eventually anyways. Do I buy it with the promo stacks? Do I wait for a deal? Uh, and by all means, it definitely makes sense for me to get the Lion Knight's castle. Um, but did I do that? No. I started adding, <laughs> I added some brick heads to my car, kind of like swizzled around didn't know what to do at a jake and sully darth vader i'm like okay should i just do 40 bucks get my little promotion and be done um and i was like mm, what was the topic of discussion last night we were talking about the bat wing uh its retail price is 200 which is quite reasonable for a set that's retiring i was like hmm maybe we should add that see what we look like i added it to the car i was still short dollars i couldn't get all the promos but i was able to get the adventure uh dragon uh so that ended up started adding more just miscellaneous items uh to get me to the 250 dollars mark i added the stormtrooper keychain i added the ahsoka keychain and then it was able to do it we finally reached our pivotal point we got the adventure ride we got the winter elf scene and we also got the tribute to the lego house and of course we're getting a retired batwing um that's literally gonna probably run out very soon so if you want this set definitely check it out um i wanted to i i don't know if it worst comes to worst i think the figs are incredible that was a big topic of last night's stream uh so that was that was kind of wrapping it up it ended up being like a 300 hundred dollar order as well uh then you know you're adding all the lego items in the the, the price just it just keeps going up right um but again i'm really kicking myself i i didn't strategize proud enough i should have got the baking set and made it like the ultimate triple quadruple promo stack uh but everything was double vip points you got all the pro i got i double stacked the promo so i got two of the lego house tribute sets coming i got two of the winter elves scene coming it ended up being a really really good uh shopping spree in a sense because 
that was a lot of Lego. I got a lot of cash back through Rakuten and whatever cash back referrals I used. Um, so a lot of cash back coming back, which is always good to see. Uh, I never bought this VIP keychain. chain. It was really hesitant, but I want to remind you guys. And then the other reminder I want to set for you guys is the million VIP points. Uh, you can enter this every single day. Um, so that's pretty interesting. So definitely don't forget to do that because you never know if you're going to win. in whole, guys, it ends up like after the whole math, you know, it's over like $1,000 worth of Lego. Granted, I did pay a little bit less. Um, just because of all the cash back and the sales, uh, but essentially a thousand dollars worth of Lego. I mean, it's pretty awesome to say, right? <laughs> um, it, by all means, do do shop responsibly. That I mean is a lot of money to spend on Lego. Um, but I'm pretty excited because I think the sets I picked up are really awesome, and I'm um, excited to bring that to the channel. I think we're gonna build the uh, Hogwarts Express live stream. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below. And then of course, this ad Adventure Dragon is my most anticipated set by all by all means. I think this thing's incredible. But I'd love to hear what you guys bought in the comments below i'm planning on live streaming today so if you want to be in a live stream with me uh let me know in the comments so you could just push me over the edge and get us to go live uh, but as always guys thank you so much for watching today's video i had a blast shopping with you guys last night and this morning and my name's stud city we'll see you in the next video peace out guys